The most powerful is the Type 99A, China's main battle tank and the best on Earth. The Chinese People's Liberation Army's Type 99A, the most powerful tank in service, recently participated in a military drill in the Xinjiang Military District. China Central Television CCTV, a state-owned media company in China, broadcast the video of the military exercise. The video reveals that armored divisions in the Xinjiang Military District are now fielding Type 99 at tanks. The Type 99A, also known as ZTZ-99A, is one of China's latest main battle tanks with better firepower capabilities and anti-tank missiles. It is classified as a third-generation main battle tank and is the most advanced main battle tank currently in service with the People's Liberation Army. In the video, the Chinese soldiers can be seen maneuvering their armored vehicles in the high-altitude areas while maintaining battle formation and firing at targets. The training was conducted at a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius, according to a text in the video. Chinese soldiers simulated military combat training. The unit that conducted the drill is reportedly stationed close to Xi Jin. However, the Eurasian Times could not verify this particular claim. In February 2021, Global Times reported that PLA's Type 99A was deployed by the Xinjiang Theater Command in the high-altitude border frontier at Karek Ram Mountain. The 57-ton 99A stands between the 70-ton American Abrams and the 48-ton Russian T-90. The Type 99 is China's third-generation main combat tank, which was inducted into service in 2001. China's indigenous battle tank development goes back to the 1980s. The People's Liberation Army of China produced one of its most technologically advanced battle tanks, the Type 99, as part of its military modernization program. In the mid-2000s, Norinco produced the enhanced Type 99A variant. The turret armor was upgraded and had a distinctive pointed design, but the 99 and 99A are relatively identical. Additionally, it has a brand new fire control system with cutting-edge thermal sighting tools. The Type 99A project was supposed to begin sometime in 2007 and is currently in full production. The Type 99A units are digital and networked and can strike foes even when out of sight. The primary gun for the Type 99A is an upgraded ZPT-98 series 125mm smoothbore. It has a muzzle velocity of 1780 um, is, and can fire a range of rounds. The Type 99A has a new shaped modular front on its turret and an enhanced composite armor protecting the front of the hull and turret. The vehicle is equipped with new explosive reactive armor, which experts say can stop tandem-charged anti-tank missiles. To provide more protection, the new ERA is mounted along the flanks of the turret and continues along the side of the storage racks. Along the front of the hull, the ERA is likewise installed. The vehicle incorporates an NBC system, a fire suppression system, and smoke grenade launchers. There are no visible hard kill launchers in the new system. A traversable laser detection and jammer device with what is thought to be ZM87 capability, the ability to blind an enemy gunner, is mounted on the roof. The Chinese 99A has not yet engaged in a real combat situation. The Type 99A made its debut at the 2015 Victory Day Parade, where it was intended to be a true competitor to international designs. The 150 HP, a 1,500 up diesel engine, drives the Type 99A. The engine is thought to be based on the German MT-883 diesel engine seen in the Euro Power Pack. The Type 99A has a new automatic transmission and torsion bar suspension. 
In high-altitude mountainous regions, the operation of the heavy Type 99, a main battle tank, could be limited due to the lack of oxygen and complicated terrains, but their sheer power remains decisive. The expert said, noting that the Type 15 light tank could outgun and outrun almost all enemies, and in case it were to encounter a hostile heavy tank, the Type 99A will have its back. Plateau troops attached to PLA Xinjiang Military Command recently also received delivery of the first batch of newly developed identification tags for military personnel, according to a separate CCTV report on Wednesday. The tag is not only carved with basic information including name, gender and blood type of each person, but also has a chip inside that carries digital information like a fingerprint, and allergy and injury history, and the troops can use them when seeking medical support and accommodation, the report said. Thank you.